If you're familiar with the count if s function from Excel, then you know that it helps you to count different values from a table or range based on multiple criteria. The count if s itself doesn't exist in Power BI, but there is a solution to translate the Excel count if s to a Power BI version. Okay, let's build an Excel count if as equivalent function in Power BI using DAX. Let's get started. My data set is very simple. I got only two tables just for the sake of the simplicity. The first table includes my product codes and the product name. The second table includes the sales transactions related to my products in a specific month. Let's say I want to count the number of transactions related to each product. As always, if I want to create a calculated field, then I go to the Table Tools tab and then I choose New Column. And now I'm going to name my column, All Transactions, equal with something. The function we are going to use today is the Count Rows. This single function is not enough for us because we want to set specific criteria conditions within our formula. We want to count the product line items on the transaction table. So what we need to use inside the count rows function is the filter function. From there, the first argument I need to set is the name of the table what I want to filter. So I'm going to enter the name of the table where I have those sales transactions and then I can set the criteria or the conditions to teach my DAX that what I want to count exactly. And the first statement will look like this. I want to count the rows on my transaction table where the product code is equal with the product code on my unique table. Then I close the bracket and I hit enter. And here we go. It counted the number of transaction lines on my sales table. So if I go back to my sales table and I filter on the product one, I can see that I have six lines, six unique lines recorded on this table. If I go back to my unique table, product one counted six. But let's say I want to set multiple conditions since we want to translate the count if s function in DAX. I go back to the formula bar, I expand it. I'm going to remove these brackets, space, double ampersand, which means and in the statement and I'm going to say that the quantity sold value on my sales table should be greater than 50. I close the formula, I call up the formula bar, and as you see, the numbers has changed since the criteria is different in our formula. 